The old Turner Rimsky's on the freaking. I watch their front line just run my back line down and I just freaking go on their back line. The old Turner Rimsky's. Hey guys, um, today we have a game against with Tyler1 on our team. He was playing Teemo top and a classic one where he just mid game is getting pissed off and wanting to quit. But we didn't let him quit, we didn't FF, and we end up winning the game. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, hit me up with some comments below. I'd like to talk to you guys and enjoy the video. Just because T1 uh, naturally had big streams, I, I had, don't have my viewer count showing. I don't stream with viewer count showing. But before playing with Tyler, I was about 213 views. So whatever it is. If it's like 400, then sure. <laughs> if it's still about that, then it's normal. Is this warded? Like, why are those minions just freaking going ape on me? Okay, it is warded. What the hell? Who wards that bush level 1? No, it's not warded. What the hell is going on? Oh, that was in range of me? Rip. Hello, Crims. Minions are stream sniping you? Yeah, the minions are letting them know, like, yo, he's in the bush. Theoretically, we should be able to play aggressive all game because Tyler 1's on the enemy team. <laughs> and our, their jungler is going to be perma top. Uh, the UI is just the. I got my artist to make me a drawing. My ADC needs to ward River, though, real bad. Oh, she already warded somewhere. Okay, well, maybe we need to play safe then. We can't pressure under tower if she used her ward already. But she's looking like she wants to, so I don't know what to say about that other than. Yep. Yep. That's an ADC diff right there. At least she didn't die. But like, she used her ward on something else, which is fine. But we shouldn't be pushing a tower without a ward. That's the problem with doing this strategy. Oh, she put the ward. Wait, why did she ward the middle bush? What the hell is the point of this ward? I had their bush warded and I was standing in the middle bush. In what world does she ever ward that bush? I'm so confused why that bush was warded and not used here. I'm so confused. <laughs> it actually just doesn't even make sense. Hello, last cat. Thank you to follow Epic Troll. I don't really need to back, so I guess I'll just soak EXP here. Nico is her own tribe now. Nico, teach you a lesson. Leona could be roaming. It's called a debate. My jungler is here. Wait, my jungler failed the E over the... What is he doing? Oh well. It worked out, but we should have freaking got two kills there. If he just went this way, that's a free double killed. I debated it so well. Rachel bet on his win is 41.59. Then I shall make sure I do everything possible to make that not happen. I will FF15 for Tyler's chat to win the prediction. Exhale. <laughs> Thank you for following Epic Troll. Go in top lane? No, that's not my that's not how I roll, baby. That ain't how we do it down here.
I popped in here to believe. I believe. Dude, uh, I have really bad luck. I want to try the new champ, but the Wi-Fi in the entire town's dead. I need to watch this with my 4G and my phone. Don't use your 4G. You're going to go out of data, and I'm going to feel really bad. It's okay. Last cat, please. It doesn't use much data to play video games off your data. Play games off your data and don't watch this stream. It's okay. Don't use up all your data here, please. <laughs> you have 560 points to win? Ooh, you're a high roller, huh? You roll them high. God, Leona's freaking W makes her so damn tanky. Damn, I forgot Empowered Root. Maybe we could have killed him. I'm not trolling Tyler, guys, so there's you can ask all you want, but I don't roll that way. I will not troll. You think your money's worth something? I had people offering me sponsorships to like use their site, and their site is like an elo boosting site, and I said no, because that's not how I roll. That's not the Doge way. I play with a Nico support who ran mid when I was there to take my waves and leave. Good times. Sounds like the greatest. Hope tomorrow I'll buy five back. See you last cat. I appreciate the thought, but trust me, you use up almost no data to use your phone. I mean, to play games. Leona could be roaming again. I just want to chill for EXP. I could be trying to counter realm, but... Not worth it. I just want EXP, chill. I have to play safe. Whenever my W's on cooldown, I can't play aggressive. Because I need it to not die instantly to Leona combo. Mental Warfare champ, true, true. Thank you for the follow light of artist. Well, I just failed super hard. Their echo is top. Cassidy could be roaming though, but hmm, I kind of just want to dive them. She's level five still, with no ulti. Ah, uh, she's gonna get ulti off one of these minions in the middle of the fight. Just giving her a little bit of love right there. A little love tapperino. We're probably getting ganked, to be honest, in a sec. Okay, never mind. Mid's getting ganked. Echo's heading to his topside jungle off the minimap, so... Um, yeah, we can just play aggressive again. Worth it. We take it. Kill trade, except their ADC is losing all this EXP and CS. Oh, my ADC is dead, though. Suicide to the support. I think she should have just suicide to the support under tower. Don't do it. Oh, my. Wait. Never mind. It's good. Nope, it's not good. 
That is such a stupid dive. Really, really dumb. Makes so little sense for them to dive that when, like, you know the ADC is going to be back soon. Tyler's going to lose his brain after that play bot. Polypuff doesn't make Bard look really fun. Bard is definitely really fun, but Polypuff definitely makes him look even more fun than Bard actually is. But I, I, I feel like I didn't want, I sounded like a flame to Polypuff when I said that. Bard's a really fun champ, <laughs> and Polypuff's a really good streamer. <laughs> I'm like, Bard, Polypuff doesn't make him look fun. He's just fun. Not because of him. <laughs> Dude, I actually just literally pretty much one-shot their ADC there. Like, Jesus, man. The spike of the freaking pen boots plus alternator is just nuts. What is that damage, bro? That's pen boots plus alternator. It's not even like I'm ultra fed or anything, you know? Like, this is a pretty normal game for how fed I should be at this point. If Nico becomes Nico, what does she look like? Go Shanghai Scrolls? Sure, why not? There's only 30 seconds until the next plate, so I wanted to make sure my ADC got that plate before it disappeared. Play does Nico Elder Baron steals. He plays some for moments. I think he takes the. He likes to play with um. He likes to play with the thingy where you can swap out your summoner spells. So he likes to swap out for the the smite and steal stuff mid game. Unsealed spellbook. Yes, that's the one. Uh, you don't like Moby or CU Bird Australia's anymore. I do. It's just. I feel like until I get to points where it's more about playing a team game than it is about solo carrying games, I feel like you just can't get more solo carry than this. Tyler is literally losing his mind. He's like the Rek'Sai last game who got solo, who like inted and then freaking flames everyone. Like he literally just died solo top to freaking set and then flames everyone. Like, <laughs> bro, you just got solo killed top while we were getting the dragon. Moby's might come back though. I think Moby's is really good. Honestly, whenever I get into really high elo games, Moby's just feels so much better because it's all about roaming. But in this elo, like you saw, Leona didn't even roam ever. She just kept walking straight to lane. And I kept predicting and telling my team like, hey, she's probably going to go mid. And she never did. Is she sleeper mid pick? Um, she has high ratios, but she has low range, so it's not like she's like spamming those ratios from far. And her Q range ratios are high only if you hit all three bounces, right? So, but yeah, I think she's a really good mid laner. I think she gets counter picked very easily though. So I don't think in the mid lane you just have to you know be careful.
Uh, new champ, OP or not? I don't think she seems OP. She seems like one of the more balanced champs that's been released recently, to be honest. I think she's going to get hard countered by CC. Because her W only stops her from being targetable if you're outside. So if I just like walk in her ulti and Nico ult her, she's just going to get one shot. Do you know why the Korean player prefers Comet over Electrocute? Um, all pro players play with Comet, but that's because... I don't know, I think it's just they... They're just playing mostly for laying, like, pressure. Yikes. They're playing for lane pressure. It gives you more lane pressure with your Q poke, but I think this is better. Like, the move speed, the vision control, the AP, the scaling, I think this is just better. Like, most, you have to remember most of the pro players who've been playing in Korea and stuff, like Kira, they don't have as many games on it as me. Like, I have 3 million masteries, so. I do think this is way better, though. Cat? It's the cat. Yes, realize you realize. Yes, Master Nico. I'm just saying, like TK Kira probably has like 50 games on Nico, right? I have freaking like 5,000 games last season. I don't know. And there's another Nico main in NA who got Challenger on it in season nine, who plays freaking Electrocute Nico. Also, I think it's just better. Depends on your playstyle. Yes, you have to remember too. Every time they play Nico in Korea so far for the support, they've played it into Tom Kench, where it can be hard to use Electric because if you go for an EQ on the Adini ADC, the Tom Kench is going to eat him before you can get the auto in for the Electric Key proc. And they're usually playing into the Tom Kench and they're just trying to go for Q poke and poke the enemy ADC out, right? So, and they take the Scorch and they're just going for Q poke. Tyler B flaming. I bet. He's saying sup and jungle diff? Cool, I don't know what this Leon is doing to make it a sup diff, but, you know. <laughs> she roamed top three times? Not true, she roamed top one time. We can watch the VOD if you want to see. She roamed top once, and the one time she roamed top, we killed bot lane and Echo was bot. So you can basically pretend she was the jungler at that point. Twice? I'm pretty sure she only roamed top once. More than one? If it's more than once, it was after lane phase ended, which is completely different. During the lane phase, it was only once. Twice? I don't believe y'all. And either way, look at my ADC. My ADC is up 50 CS, so. One after? That's what I thought. You can check his deaths. Okay. She only rammed once in the lane phase. After that, it was when we were pushing the mid tower is when Leona roamed top. But that was after lane phase ended. And we also took the mid tower when she was there. When she went top the first time, we took bot tower and got a kill. The second time, we took mid tower, so. He's just not playing smart and trying to push the blame on me. But I know it's not my fault. I'm dominating this game right now. TBH. The Dominator. The 3-3-2 three, three, Dominator. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Arifas, it keeps getting nerfed. Yeah, it's a good item for sure. I like Rocket Bell better, but the nerf isn't too bad. Actually, the nerf's pretty bad. It means you're only going to get it once in a team fight rather than twice, pretty much. Pearl Belt makes you int? Yep, but it's an int to win champ. I'm scared about this Kasten. She doesn't have kills, but... He thinks everyone sucks? Yeah, it's just his brand. It's fine. Like, I hard dominated bot lane. Look at the ADC gap right now in terms of CS. Like, hard dominated it. And again, the time when Leona roamed top, Echo was bot. So it's not like it was like Echo and Leona showed up top. Everyone fears Nico now. 
If Leona freaking, if Echo had showed up top and Leona was still bot, he still would have died and then it would have had nothing to do with me. Hello, New Ward. We rotate for the top tower, I think, here. How much did you like Gwen yesterday? She was fun. Definitely not going to be like a champ by main or anything, but... What's your favorite champ other than Nico? Um, I really like Zoe to be honest. Sometimes nothing happens and I die. It's just experience, to be honest. Like I don't know how to tell you. I just have a feeling in my gut when I ult you, like when it's a good time. I wish I could give you more example than that, but it really is just a gut feeling. Like you just see an opening where you can go in and you just take it as soon as it's open. Like I don't know how else to tell you. There's not really a way I can just explain. It's like if your team has more people at the play than them, go in, right? If you have a flank on them, they don't know where you are, go in through the flank, you know? If someone on their team throws a big spell out, like say freaking Leona just throws out her ulti and misses, you know, go in. It's just like there's just so many tells. The more you play, the better you'll get on ulting. Yep, exactly. Unfortunately, I don't have my passive up right now to ulti. And I got caught. But it looks like it's okay. Maybe not. Casting's out of mana actually huge. Ah, the stopwatch bait. And that, folks, is why you never engage on a support, by the way. Because when you engage on a support, you lose the team fight. Booty? Take that. <laughs> Thank God Kasten was out of mana, honestly. <laughs> drink water? I'll drink nest tea. You give off good vibes, brother? Thank you, mate. I try. During my norms, I carry as Nico's support, and I'm 100% it's because watching you in the practice. Hey, you're too kind. Nico, I'm glad that I can help you in a positive way. <laughs> and ba, 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 ba. I don't have stopwatch, though, so I can't get caught again. <laughs> I, was I got caught, but I had stopwatch, so we turned it. But, you know, if I didn't have stopwatch, we probably would have just lost right there. You redeemed one? I, I just drank for you. <laughs> Nico gap really? The Nico gap too huge. Thank you for the follow Avio and Shivi. Someone else redeemed one twice. My bad. Nice tea is as that ice tea never knew it also sold in cans. Yup. I mean I'm Canadian, so maybe they don't in the States. I don't know. There, I took another step for them. Um to be honest, I'm kinda scared to face check any bushes. Because a lot of their champs can just one-shot me right now. Thank you for following Saturn viewer.
Then it's here brings you follows, huh? I guess so. But that's a good thing. It means I'm a good streamer. I'm making, I'm doing stuff that his viewers would actually want to follow. I could be doing bad content and none of them would be following, so. Yes, it's because Tyler wins my team that maybe I'm getting these follows, but it's because I'm making content that they're enjoying, why they're following, so. How come Tyler played Teemo this game? No idea, maybe he's trying to learn Teemo. Five head. Lol. That dude just like completely just entered right there, my god. Oh, my ADC's dead. I'm here from TikTok. Hello, welcome from TikTok. I appreciate that. You're the second person who's come who's told me they're from TikTok, so. That's dope. I don't know about this, but... Alright, it worked out. That was such a coin flip, honestly. The Teemo's for AP. True, we did need AP, but he also plays Mordekaiser, which is what I thought he was going to play. But, you know, somehow we won that coin flip of a Fiesta, so I'm happy. working hopefully it'll help your youtube channel too i have ideas of how to convert my tiktok into youtube i have i'm starting this weekend hopefully it'll be up on sunday i'm starting a series on how to support series and i'm gonna put a clip from the video on tiktok and tell people if they want to see the full video to just like go to my youtube so i'm gonna try and convert some youtube views from that it's rising folks going on nico i heard that it's op um i don't play nico mid much but it's definitely not a bad item i think i'd still rather have death cap if you can afford it but for sure think you want to not play cho I don't know. He's not doing terrible. He won lane at least, so could have been worse this game. You the guy who also plays Ivern? Yes, I play Ivern support too. What to do now? Find his Ooh, have Can't wait for that series. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to be a good time. You saw it on our subreddit. Yep, I like it. I haven't played it much recently, but at the start of the season especially, I was playing it quite a bit, to be honest. I went on a fat Nico losing streak, and then I just went and, like, one-tricked Ivern for, like, a week. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Scudsty. And that was on my main account. That was in Master, too. Not my Smurf on this one. Most OP champ don't need to buy skins transforming teammates. Dude, it's so facts. Do you still play him, by the way? If Nico's banned, I will, but... It just depends on team comp, because there's certain, like, times where if you pick them, you just, like, will get dumpstered. I'm a Talon one trick turning to a Nico one, uh, turning to a Nico uh, wannabe one trick. Hey. It's all good. Okay, well, that was interesting. They literally just ran at us. Which comp, what do you think? It's usually in bot lanes, it's about the bot lane, because if you play him into super poke heavy bot lanes, uh, you can run out of mana and your ADC is going to get poked out. I feel like he's okay into tank supports in the bot lane. And he's really good if you have, like, specific ADCs who are just safe. Like, for instance, if you have, like, a Jinx ADC and you pick Ivern and just scale, it's good. It just, it just, like, it's more about the bot lane matchup. There's just bot lane matchups. Like, for instance, if you play him into, like, if the enemy team has, like, heavy poke and stuff, you're just going to get poked out of lane, so. I don't know. Team, look, Leo and Mr. Long gauge combo? Yeah, I don't know. That was interesting. To be honest, I'm not even paying attention right now. What was the time you guys need to get your freaking points? It was like 
We're on poor car uh, curve to get that. <laughs> Freaking set. With the predictions? I see. I think I'm just going to go Abyssal Mask this game. I'd rather get a fat amount of magic resist right here. I could have upgraded this into this, but I'd only be getting 25 magic resist. And at this point, I just don't want to get one shot by Echo or Kassadin before my R lands. So I'll just get this into Abyssal Mask and just get myself some MRA here. Abyssal Mask is really good because if you land a Root or Ulti, your whole team does 10% more damage. So if I Root and then Ulti anyone on their team, they're just taking 10% damage amp for my whole team. Plus I'm like getting really tanky, just like super good I think on Nico. Well, my jungler just randomly just entered right there for no reason. I would have lured. I don't know. It was a 5v1 at the time. You can finally redeem VIP. Huge poggies. I appreciate that. Wait, is that T1 just got here? It is T1. It's Hulk Smash 117. I'll give it to you after this game, Adrian. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here and supporting me all this time. It means a lot.